max five. If you're at home and you got a rig and you can get after it, do that. Make sure you got a spotter or at least safety gear or a well-meaning significant other who can save your life. Or don't use clips and that's a secondary okay that's okay, but it's still better to have somebody around, okay? I'm gonna get done and find your best five, then um, do some kind of rows. And that could be dumbbell, barbell, kettlebell, one-handed, two-handed. I'm not super picky, as long as it gets hard enough to make it hard. Max reps is like 10. If you can get 10 or less, because you can get that much weight, that's awesome. If not, then just jam out reps and make sure you get enough work there. If you don't have a bench press thing at home, good for you. You've got push-up varieties that should be difficult and you want to find one that allows you to do five reps and that's all you can muster the strength for. Um, and then same thing, roll with what you've got, be a dumbbell, barbell, kettlebell, um, small child, sack of flour, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so guys, our first push-up variety is going to be a knee push-up. Go ahead and make five. Two, three, four, yay. And if that's like too easy, awesome. Let's just put weights on your back. So we take it and we just kind of friendly like place those on there and then she makes five more reps. There's one, oh, too fast to top. Two, <laughs> three, four. That's way funner. Good job, babe. <laughs> so when you do that, I mean, that's, that's a good way to do five reps of that. So the next step is to just do five normal push-ups. Two, three, four, five. From there, you can get a closer grip with your hands. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can also widen the grip with the hands and get five that way. Yeah. We can also switch up the grip. So he's got a reverse grip. His fingers are pointing back towards his knees. Get five that way. Awesome. Then we can also be up on the parallettes. Get five that way. with all the cracks and pops. And then if that still is not difficult enough, you can elevate your feet and have the hands on the parallettes. Wish him luck. Boom. So you've got lots of options to work with here. Yeet. Okay guys, so for the push-ups, remember just you wanna get like five sets of five that are all in those kind of hard ranges, whatever those are for you. Once you find something that's real tough, try to do five sets of five. Hey guys, Sweetie's giving us like a dumbbell row but with a kettlebell, same exact thing. Anything you can get in your hand that's one-handed that's heavy enough is really just right. I'm thinking like toolbox could also be very good for this, depending on how many wrenches you have. Obviously both sides is important, but um, jam out reps. Another great option, guys, is the bend over row. So you do just bend over and then pull the bar with your upper back, squeezing together towards your belly button. Keep your back real stiff, real straight, bend your legs a little bit, sure. But the key element is the squeezing of the shoulder blades. Ooh, she's so good. All this action is the key element, right? And you want to get plenty of reps on that. And of course, add weight so that 10 or so is about as heavy as you can handle. But if you only have a barbell, then by God, get reps. Another good variety, guys, is this just a banded row. You just hook it around some of them won't bust, back up far enough, and then pull the band to you. And same as the other moves, right, where the shoulder blade is trying to reach back together and do work there. And again, get those reps. <laughs> 